On this edition of String Goodness is Solar Saturday, we're going to be talking about Solar Economics 101. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Raul Brigera with Colorbird Solar Solutions. On this edition of Thank Goodness Solar Saturday, we want to discuss solar economics. Does solar make sense for you? and how to differentiate between real advertisement and fake news. A lot of times we've seen so many people advertise solar as free. We have all been getting these many, many Facebook and social media ads offering us great savings for solar and no money up front and everything is free. And it's very important that you as a consumer are informed of what's really available. Here in South Florida, in our market, we don't have any state incentives. Some other states may have local state incentives. So it's important that you look with your local municipality, check with your local government to find out what's available to you so that you're aware of it. Because if not, the salespeople might really be offering you something that's not available to you. And all they're simply doing is building it into the price. When you shop for solar, you should be able to compare between the same equipment and the reputation of the company the installation company, their experience, so that you can make the best informed decision. But I can always say, it's very important for you to understand what is the true cost of solar and what is the true cost of financing solar. With that information, you can then decide if solar is right for you. So let's talk about the basics. Let's talk about what you should be paying for solar in your market. In South Florida, we've seen the price of solar anywhere from 210 all the way to $4 a watt. Talk to your installer, find out what equipment they're offering. But let's use, for example, 240 as a you know, medium average price for solar. So if you're paying 240, it's per watt. Don't confuse the per watt price with your kilowatt hour price. Our local utility companies are charging you between 11 and a half and 13 and a half cents per watt, depending on the time of day, depending on your consumption, depending on the rate that you're with. With Florida Power and Light, for example, residential one, RS1, it's 11.5. And it doesn't matter, we don't have different types of uh, usage, we pay one set rate. But if you use over 1,000 kilowatt hours, the rate does go up, and over 3,000 kilowatt hours, the rate does go up some more. So it all depends on how much kilowatt hours you use in your particular house. Let's use the average home in South Florida. Everybody talks about square footage, Square foot is, doesn't create an average. But let's talk about the average, you know, family, maybe four people living in the household, maybe a, a, a two bedroom house with an average electric bill of around $200 a month. When I say average electric bill, means that throughout the year, you spend $200 a month. You will probably spend less money in the winter months, maybe a little bit more during the hot summer months, but as an average, you spend $200 a month. That particular home is probably going to need about a 10, 10 and a half KW system to eliminate those $200. When we talk about a 10 KW system, we're talking about 10,000 watts. 10,000 watts of energy on a daily basis is going to generate somewhere between 45 to 50 kilowatt hours. And what that's going to generate is an average of $200 a month in electric savings. And that's at today's rates. That's not considering future increases in electricity. I know that a lot of you have been reading in the news over the past couple of weeks that our local electric company has uh, very recently asked the state commission for a 16% increase over the next four years. The reason why solar makes so much sense is because you lock in today's rates. When you purchase your solar panels and you have the ability to purchase them yourself, and even through the utility company, there's programs like Solar Together, where you could actually purchase them through the utility company uh, and pay a higher rate over a longer period of time. And or you can buy your own solar panels, install them in your own home, have them installed in your own home, and lock in today's rates without any future increases. When you consider a 16% increase over the next four years, that's a 4% increase every single year. That means that if this year you're paying 200, Next year you're paying 208, the following year you're paying 220, the following year after that you're paying 
to 24, and the following year to that, you're all the way ready to 230 average a month. That's a $30 increase in just four years. While if you go solar today and you install solar panels on your home, you're going to end up paying less. Let's look at the actual economics of solar and let's talk about financing because perhaps we, you may not have the means to come up with the money up front to pay for it. So let's just talk about incorporating the cost of financing into your project, including all of the fees associated with it so that you understand. When the installers come out to your house, they're going to offer you many different options. There's many local banks that finance solar. There's also solar financing available through different uh, contractor financing firms like Mosaic, Sunlight, Lone Pal. There's many different companies that offer many different interest rates. Remember, the lower you go on the interest rate, the more upfront fees that you have. Even if your contractor is not sharing with you what those fees are, do not be fooled. The lower the interest rate, the more you're paying for your solar. So let's talk about purchasing solar at 240 a watt. That means that for a 10,000 watt system, the system is going to cost you $24,000. And again, when we look at financing $24,000, let's take a look at what could be those monthly payments. For today's exercise, I'm going to use a locally available system available in our area. It is a uh, private company. It is not a government program. It's called White Green. Energy is spelled backwards. And it's, White Green is a local company a private company that has partnered up with local government to allow you, the homeowner, to improve the efficiency of your home as energy efficiencies and or improve and hardening of your home to prepare for a hurricane. Both of these type of improvements can be financed through White Green and they incorporate the cost into your local property taxes. This does not mean that your property taxes go up. This means that you choose to make your payment into your property taxes. So for example, if you uh, were to choose to finance with White Green, you will be increasing your property taxes for a period of time. You choose 10, 15, 20, even as far as 30 years. And once you get done paying for your loan, once you get done paying for your project, those property taxes go back to where they were before. It is an election to put the payment of your project into your property taxes. It is not an increase of your property taxes. But the beauty about a program like White Green is that it allows you to do these improvements without increasing the cost of your project. So the fees associated with financing through White Green are usually a lot lower than the fees associated with financing through a other partner like Sunlight, Mosaic, or Lone Pal. So let's just go straight into the actual financing part Let's discuss how much it's going to cost you. I'm going to log in here into our local um, White Green website. And uh, let's just discuss making your project. Uh, one second while it locks in so you can see. And let's talk about doing a project for $24,000. We're going to ask White Green for the entire amount of money so you don't have to come up with any money up front. Again, this is not telling you that solar is free. This is letting you know that you have the ability, if you choose, to finance the entirety of your project without putting up any money out of pocket. So we're going to say here that we're going to do a $24,000 project. And notice that I'm financing the entire project. We're all aware that there's a federal incentive of $24,000 that is going to allow you to lower your taxes, lower your tax liability by, and I'm going to multiply here, a $24,000 project. The federal rebate is 26%. So you're looking at a possible $6,240 reduction in your tax liability for that year. Please check with your local tax accountant, with your tax advisor, see how this particular tax savings is going to affect you and your household in particular. But a $24,000 uh, solar project will allow a possible tax reduction of your tax liability by $6,240. But for our solar calculation, we're simply going to say 
the full $24,000. And then we'll show you how you can save even more by applying that savings in taxes to your loan. So we're going to do a residential project, fully installed, including permits and all costs associated for $24,000. Let's see what your monthly payment would be. Um, let's say that we finish up with the project by July 1st of this year. We're going to calculate what is going to be the cost associated with it. And as you can see here, you can finance the project for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 or 30 years. At an interest rate of 3.99%, your 30-year payment will be $129. And I always tell my customers, you should never finance this project and opt to pay for 30 years because that is way too long of a period of time. But you can finance it for 30 years and pay it off at a quicker pace because there is no prepayment penalty. So with this option right here, your first payment is not going to be until March of 2023. You also have the choice of, and, and your payment will be $129 a month. Now remember, we talked about your current payment today is $200 a month. So with a guarantee of production, this installation is going to save you $70 a month. You're already paying $200 a month. You're already paying your local utility company for these solar panels, except you're not enjoying any other benefits. And next year, your local utility company is going to raise you from 200 to 204. And the year after that, it's going to go to 220. And the year after that, it's going to go to 228 and then over $230 in four years. Or you can simply install solar panels on your house, no money out of pocket, finance them, and now you can see that your payment is going to be $129 a month. That's a $70 savings right off the bat. On top of the fact that your first payment is not until November of 2023, which allows you all of the savings of those $200 to make your first payment. If you also choose, they also give you the ability to extend the first payments. So now, instead of $129 a month, for a mere $5 more a month, $134, you don't have to make a first payment until March of 2024. That's the rest of 2021, 2022, 2023, and three months in 2024 before you make your first payment. That's over 24 months and let's just do a quick calculation. 24 months times $200 a month that you're saving. That means you're saving over $4,800 before you make your first payment. And that first payment is going to be $134 times 12 months. So it's only $1,600. So you're going to save over $4,800 and your payment is going to be $1,600 for that year. What does this mean to you? This means you have the opportunity to file your taxes, perhaps receive the entire $6,000 in that first year. Now, if you were to apply that $6,000 to your loan and that first year payment, which White Green allows you to do, all of a sudden you're not financing $24,000 anymore. And any time that you make a one-time payment of $2,500 or more, to your loan, this finance company, White Green, re your payments. So now, instead of making uh, owing $24,000, now you only owe $18,000. Let's calculate, see what that payment is going to be. That payment is no longer going to be $134. That payment is not going to be $101. That means you can save $100 a month or 50% of your electric costs by going solar. And that, folks, is Solar 101. 
install solar on your house and you can save up to an average of 50% of what you're already paying today. Don't let nobody fool you. The $200 a month is only going to increase. If you were to put solar on your house, your payment could be as low as one on one a month. So if you ask me, is solar for you? I say only if you want to save 50%. I hope you find this information helpful. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments below. We try to get back with all of our customers. Till the next time, this is Raul Vergara with Color Bay Solar Solutions. Let the sun power your lifestyle.